Now welcome to my quick and easy tutorial for the shaky camera effect for Flight Simulator 2004. Uh, as I was saying, I'm going to import the video. Here it is. Set up right over there. And basically, you got your video. That one's not too good, so I'm gonna take this one out because it's got a couple of like glitchy things there. Don't look that good. Okay, shaky camera effect. Now you got your video. Place your video wherever you want it, and then you come over here to the event pan button, event pan crop button. Or you could just if it's like if you haven't got that option because sometimes the option doesn't appear if the video is too small like this. So basically, you got your video and whatever. I just leave it whatever the size it is. It's there, and um, you can just right click and then press video if pan crop. It takes you to this screen here. And basically, uh, the shaky camera effect works on with like keyframes which you can like create here on the timeline and to do this basically whenever you basically start on the first keyframe and you change the size of the screen so when you're like when you make the um, the shaky effects so you won't see none of the black bits like that like outside of the video because if you go after to do it you'll just like these edges so uh, you make it smaller And then you go to wherever you want on the time time timeline, wherever you want to have this effect. So I'm going to start my effect off over here. And basically, all you do is just move it, click again somewhere else, like here. The easiest way really to do this is like you zoom in, so you'll have a better effect, so it won't look like it's going too slow. And basically, zoom in and then just keep going. And every time the plane gets closer, just keep making the gap, the gap between the keyframes smaller, so it'll have more of a shaky effect. And you, what you could also do is once you're like in the middle bit, you could like press Control and click the keyframes, and then right click and copy. And you click again, and then you could just paste that, but it would make it a bit uh you know like continuous, so it might look like the same shape, so it could be better just to do it manually like that it won't look all the same, but I'm just doing it like this just to show so uh, just keep doing that, and after once once you wanna get um start showing that the plane is already going away, you can like make the spaces between the keyframes get shorter and shorter so basically you could just like one there and there one there basically like that and then all you have to do is close it and you've got your effect let's play that sorry about this landing this is just a little something I did and uh you see that and it shakes another good tip for anyone that hasn't got like a high end pc like me i've just i'm pl i'm uh, making this video on my laptop well, all the, all the videos i make is on my laptop so anyone who like gets bad frame rates a good tip for when they're making videos is increase the speed of your video so it will look a, a little bit a bit more smooth so what you do to increase the speed is you go to insert remove or remove envelope and you click velocity and then you have this little velocity line and what you have to do here you go to switches and click loop so it won't loop once like if, when you make it faster and you can see these little bits here that's where your video will end so basically you just like do that and like this once you make it faster the vid will look looks uh, a little bit better but to just make it look like you have good frame rates you should just increase it just a little bit just enough so it will look good so the plane won't look like it's over speeding tip for most people that make uh, flight simulator videos I've seen most of the videos on YouTube and the thing that really ruins them is the little red writing 
So basically, I'll show mine. Look, you see that right there, the brakes thing. And what I do to get rid of that, I couldn't, I can't be bothered to get that little program called Message Kill, but you can do that. But what I do when, uh, when it has those little things, I just make the screen smaller so it won't show that. And it's a very simple way of getting rid of it without having to install the message blocker. And that's it for the tutorial. Please rate and comment. Thanks. And give me your feedbacks to s see what else anyone wants to know. And I'll see what I can do to help you out. Okay, keep watching DreD Studios. Bye. P.S. Check out my new website, which is fsproductions.bravehost.com.